Hey guys, it is Commander Bree here reporting for duty. Um, just giving you a check in on my Forex trading journey and how it can possibly help you on your journey as well. So let's get into it. So this is week four. Let's go. I know it kind of looks different because the previous videos I was filming in vertical. I was filming vertically. This time I'm filming horizontally. And yeah, so there's gonna be some changes with that. Like I said before, I'm not a YouTuber. This is my first channel. Um, so alright, so like I said, I think I want to do like a previously on Breeze Trading Journey. Hmm. So week three, mostly talked about um, Fibonacci. We spoke about discipline. We also spoke about how I was more active at the end of the week and not the beginning of the week in week three. But this week in week four, I found myself being more active in the beginning of the week and less active in the end of the week. So I'm like, <clears throat> I need to get this consistency down pack but any hoosies um we also spoke about the trading plan journal compounding plan how that's very important also that i'm starting to adapt my own style so that's pretty cool and um yeah things are just starting to become more connected so yeah so that was week three moving on to week four it was the week of the 12th, so April 12th. And in my notes, I have uh, Bollinger Bands, RSI, Fibonacci. That's slowly starting to become my strategies um, that I've been back testing with, and it's been pretty successful. Some little gems that I got. Oh, also, because I'm filming <laughs> horizontally, I might have to have the buttons like on this side now. So, yeah. So maybe I can like press the button like <laughs> I don't know we'll see with the editing um all right so some key notes that I took from this week uh starting on Monday um like I said I trade from Monday to Friday I don't trade on the weekends that's a part of my trading plan and I'm sticking to it and I've been doing good for four weeks so all right so some gems that I took are the setback is for the set up after every pullback there is a breakthrough in the market and also in life so i wrote that down i thought that was really cool there's just like some psychological things about your highs and your lows not to get too disappointed about it because you're not gonna win all your trades and i understood that coming into it i believe like when i first got started like you guys know my first experience with forex was with maverick trading and that was like a big scam i didn't buy into it or anything i just took <laughs> little nuggets <laughs> along my journey about you know not being so emotional in the forex market which i've always kept with me and knowing that you're not going to win every trade so that's just reoccurring again this on monday so on tuesday you learn more about having three key things which is faith which I think is amazing. Number two is a strong why. Definitely. Why are you doing this? For what? Why, Sway? Why? And then number three is a real team. I said, what? The team gotta be there for you. You understand? If you don't have a strong team, if your team is waiting for you to fail, you don't need to be around those people at all. And I'm so blessed to have a group of wonderful outstanding amazing blessed people in my life that just want to see me grow and flourish so you know i'm praying that you have the same but if you don't you need to change it oh this is a good little note huh Boo. if it doesn't challenge you i'm gonna say it again for the people in the back if it doesn't challenge you it won't change you that's what people in the back also, what was really cool was, um, you know, I'm a part of this Telegram group with I Am Academy. As you guys know, I'm studying with I Am Academy and I have friends that are in it and they have a Telegram group. And who was invited to this Telegram group was one of the mentors. I guess she's like the most viewed member on Go Live in the I Am Academy. So Go Live is like where you can basically see your instructor live streaming uh you know they teach you how to trade or 
they you know talk about mindset whatever their subject is you can see on their calendar and you can tune in basically so she has the most views like hundreds of thousands of views her name is millie mills so she came on uh, to visit our team on monday she gave some great notes um she's super like chill and like grounded um i didn't get like a cocky vibe from her or like you know no i think she's cool and she's a mother and she was trading when she was pregnant and i was like girl that's a tough one because you know you're super emotional when you're pregnant so then to be that way and trade and then to be successful i'm like girl you got this so any hoosies um she a few things that she said was um to use forex factory which yes i'm starting to add that into my um weekly regimen and then she also said of course support and resistance is very important stop loss of course moving averages oh i come to <laughs> i know last week i was like i kept seeing in my notes liquidity 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 i was like what does this mean found out like liquidity means like you know where's the money like <laughs> you know like your stop loss and then i said slash pending orders that's how i was taught what liquidity was but yeah also she said so she uses some indicators um but she also trades uh what is it hfx but i trade forex so everything that she said didn't apply to me but you know it's, it's similar terminology so you know i was picking and choosing you know what i mean um the currency strength meter or something like that i'm gonna put it in the description below but and the forex factory too but there is a website where which shows you which currency is strong in the world right now so it helps you when you're trading uh in forex because you see which currencies are strong which ones are weak and it just helps you in that way so i was like oh, okay it's a little gem i'm tight <laughs> srt this is a vocab word i didn't look up the definition so i'm gonna look that up <laughs> put in description and hopefully by next week i understand it fully okay so that was millie mills you take better notes so that that was on tuesday so wednesday because we went into that it was mike brown so it was this 8 a.m mike brown 4x basics that was a cool class i didn't really didn't take much notes i can see that here um being completely real i was just listening like oh oh because he did the trade oh my gosh i have to tell you guys i'm sorry you know when i do these notes like like for real i just open it and i just sit in front of the camera and i go over it i don't go over it before which i probably should do but i haven't done that yet so so y'all getting the raw uncut version you understand mike brown he is a i guess one of the team leaders you know he's instructor and he basically helps you guides you into trading so i would say similar to giving signals but i don't want to become dependent on that because i've seen and i've heard like people become too dependent on signals and they just trust this one person and they're not really trading they're just following the leader and i don't want to be that because as you guys know my goal is to wait i got a diagram <laughs> is to become an FTMO trader. So this is me, like this is me like right here. I'm climbing the steps, you see? It's like a Super Mario type thing, you see? Do you understand what I was doing? So any hoosies, basically when I learn to trade through the IM Academy, I'm gonna get funding from FTMO. And then they give you like a $10,000 account, give you a $50,000 account, and then $100,000, and it can go up to the millions, girl. You know what I mean? So anyway, yes, but that's a whole process. That's like a three month process to become an FTMO trader. Like, so I need to have a system down before I can even think about that. You know what I mean? But that is happening this year. It's happening this year. And it's so like, oh my God. Okay, okay, okay. So, um, yeah, so my week by week breakdown, as you guys can see. So we're on week four, which is like FX foundations, demo trading. So I did demo trade this week um, with Mike Brown and it was so like, oh my gosh. I can see where you cannot be emotional in this because I was like, wow, I should have went with my whatever. Anyway, 
So I traded, I cannot show you my account, my MT4 account, uh, which also stands for MetaTrader4, uh, which is how you trade in Forex. And then you have a broker to transfer the money. My broker is Forex.com. So I went with the regulated broker because you know, I know some people use the unregulated brokers like Hugo's Way or it's unregulated. So if they just decide to be like, <laughs> babe, and you got $50,000, you can't sue them because they're unregulated for a reason. You understand? So I said, absolutely not. I'm getting all my coins. Mm -hmm. The dollar coins and those pennies. I want it all. I want it all. Thank you very much. I ain't got no hair to flip, but <laughs> you understand? Yeah, I went with the regulated broker, forex.com. All right, so um, I guess I'll give you the breakdown. So my first trade, it was in the demo account, like I said. Oh my gosh. So I followed his instructions to the T, right? I got it. I did my stop loss. I did my take profit, put the price, bada ding, bada boom, boom. Where I messed up was, and I knew this as soon as I got off the call because I wanted to ask another question and I didn't. And it cost me not asking that question, which was, how do I know when I'm, when it hits my stop loss? Like, how do I know? Like, cause all I'm seeing is red and blue, red and blue, red and blue. I'm thinking, okay, does it stop blinking? Does it change a different color? I had no idea and I should have asked, but I'm thinking like, okay, you know, and I think it was my friend Alondra eventually told me and I messaged him after the fact. And they were basically saying like, it's gonna take you out the trade. And I had to see him for myself. And, um, but it was crazy because I was up, I was up like 47 pips, right? I was up 47 pips and I didn't take profit because I'm thinking, okay, I'm just gonna let it run. I'm gonna let it run. Let me just see what happens. And that thing said, I actually lost, I think I lost like $2 or something like that. I don't know. But I was up like $3 and some change. And then I didn't take profit. And I knew part of me was like, dang, should I take profit? I was like, I'm away. Then I saw it plummet and I was like, okay, always ask questions. No dumb question. Don't feel like, oh, you know, that everybody else doesn't have a question. So I won't ask like me. Just ask the question because it might save you some money. And then, um, so that was my first trade, my second trade. So the next day, so that was on what, Wednesday? Hold on, let me go to my Wednesday um, notes. So Wednesday, okay, did it change? Oh yeah, I wrote down how I felt. <laughs> I wrote down how I felt about it. I was like, disappointed. Yeah, it's all right. Oh, I didn't tell you this part. I was frustrated looking at the charts because I wasn't confident because I wanted to revenge trade. That was the first time I've ever felt to revenge trade because I got it. I lost it. I saw it when I was up and I lost it. And I was like, oh my God, I need to make it back. And I was like, let me just wait till tomorrow because I don't want to revenge trade. And um, that night on Wednesday night, there was a, a trader's boot camp, uh, which is with my team. His name is Peps. Mm -hmm. And he basically went into like, you know, emotions are fickle, which is crazy because I was going through that. <laughs> so I was like, okay, right on time. And then he was saying like, what do you need to do to become more disciplined? And then number two was what would happen if you became more disciplined? And then uh, number three was what are your obstacles? Number four was track your progress. And then five was accountable. Find, you know, hold yourself accountable or find somebody to hold you accountable like a buddy and then he said you will discipline counts in the areas when you force yourself to do the work meaning the reason people are successful is because they do the things they don't feel like doing and what happens when you don't feel like it your emotions right when you're feeling something when you're feeling something that's your emotions i'm feeling this i'm feeling that i'm feeling that this emotion so successful people are successful because they don't listen to their flesh right the flesh the skin bag that we're in temporarily right that feels like oh, i'm lazy today i don't feel like it you know they keep their eyes on the prize on that vision and he's like you know what i'm going to kill my flesh today i'm gonna kill my emotions today and i'm just gonna do it because it needs to get done period i traded again on friday but on thursday i made profit so that's that's pretty good uh, so once again guys thank you for uh checking in and um congratulations you guys survived another day of life you know because well, like i always say tomorrow is not promised so this might be the last time i see you but i'm glad that we were able to spend this time together so 
thank you thank you thank you if you liked or learned anything in this video please subscribe below also like this video and you cannot forget to hit that notification bell hit that notification bell the one that says all you know what i'm saying all the notifications so you can see when i have another video out and thank you guys so much like always i got my survival kit with me i'm gonna go on this journey again and i will see you guys in the next video stay safe over and out